Hello and welcome to another episode of Electronics Tinkerer. Today I will be giving a quick overview of my C64 disk emulator. When I originally bought my Commodore 64, I was really excited about programming on it, but I had no way of saving or loading programs. After deciding against buying an original disk unit or modern emulator, I decided to design my own. I chose to use the Arduino as the main platform for the challenge because I was familiar with it, I liked the IDE provided, and I knew the ATmega328P microcontroller could be used as a standalone device. I began the project over winter break, and my goal was to have the ability to, at minimum, save and load programs from an SD card. Until this project, I had never interfaced with an SD card on an Arduino before, and the C64's IEC bus was another monster in itself. I began with the larger of the two challenges and worked on a low-level driver for the IEC bus. This handled communication over the bus for reading and writing single bits. During this process, reading J. Derigree's IEC dissected white paper was very helpful to understanding the serial bus protocol, but there was still a lot of work to be put into converting the timing diagrams into code that could replicate them. Once I got the driver working, I moved on to reading a file from the SD card and sending it back to the computer. This part proved to be an easier than I had expected because it was already a built-in driver for it in the Arduino language. Through a few more hours of work, I was able to load and save programs to the disk, which means I had met my original goal, but I was wondering what other features the original disk unit had that I could potentially add. I added three new features. One, printing a directory. Two, loading a first file on the disk. And three, overwriting an existing file. This took up the remainder of my winter break that I had to work on this, and by the end of the break, it was capable of performing all five of these functions. It was not without its problems, however. Occasionally, it would not be detected by the C64, and it was also restricted by the 8.3 file name format of the FAT file system that was used on the SD card. This meant that multi-file programs with long file names could not be loaded. I later drew up the schematic for the drive in Eagle and routed a board for it. A few features were added to the board, such as a status LED and a drive reset jumper. Over the summer, I changed the way files were accessed on the SD card by providing a directory file that translated the file name expected by the C64 to a file on the SD that followed the 8.3 format. In the process, this fixed the detection issue and allowed programs to have almost any file name that was possible on the original 1541 drive. In the future, I would like to add more functionality of the drive, such as the ability to format the disk from the C64 and potentially change the board to surface mount components to make it smaller. That's all I have for this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, comment, or maybe even subscribe. In the description, there should be a demo video, a build video, and a design video on the drive. 